Hey guys, welcome to another of Pete's Take On, and today we pick another typically controversial subject, Donald Trump. Yes, the big Don, the man himself, currently the most powerful man in the world. And some would say probably one of the most hated. And that's what I love about Don, because you either love him or you hate him. And there's very little gray area around that. But what am I going to talk about today? What's my take on the big guy? And why do I love him so much? Yes, there you go. 2,000 people just unsubscribed. But no, let me tell you why, because it's not about politics. For those of you that know me, I don't do politics. I don't care about politics. Politics does not live in my world. I have not voted. I'll never vote. I don't want to vote. It's just not what I do. Politics over there. But there are some lessons I want to share with you that I think could be very beneficial for you if you peel back your judgmental impositions aside and just listen to what I've got to say here. Because when it comes to politics, we all know it's exactly the same. No matter who you vote for, the government always gets in. And the first truism of politics, pretty simple. Yeah, whatever and whenever a decision is made, loud voices against it will always be raised. It's just the nature of the game. However, I'm not talking policy here, I'm talking about Big D. So why do I like Donald Trump? What do I like about Donald Trump? For a start, it's not his policies. Why? Because I don't know what they are. So let's move that aside. But there are lessons here that are really going to help you. Why is it so many people stare at the mirror of their potential only to see it fogged up and never see the crystal clarity around you know, how they can become an even better version of themselves? Well, one of the biggest causes of fog on that mirror, my friends, is something called GOOP. Yes, we all have heard of GOOP, especially if you follow my work. And GOOP stands for the good opinion of other people. GOOP is a sticky, nasty substance that many people spend their entire life swimming in. And the reason GOOP is so effective at sucking the potential out of your life is because you cannot be authentic when you are worried about what other people think. In other words, now, if you're running around looking for somewhere else to reattach your umbilical cord because you're trying to seek approval, validation, connection, love, you know, please like me, please love me. If you don't, then I'll be this way, so you will. Or if you don't like me that way, then I'll be this way. Everyone's running around in life trying to be this chameleon when those that get out of goop have a completely different energy. They don't give a two cents about your opinion of them. In fact, they come to one of the most empowering awarenesses most people never get to in life, which is the full understanding that whatever your opinion of them is, is none of their business. And so whether you like Don or whether you don't, whether you are a political you know, slave to opinion or whether you're not, you've got to hand it to the guy because he just doesn't give a crap about what anybody else thinks of him. In fact, I don't think there's anything worse that can be written about Donald Trump, apart from he probably, I don't know, yeah, drowns babies in the, in the river and eats them for breakfast. I don't know, I'm sure somebody's probably written that anyway. Not that I'm suggesting he has, by the way, before some status-seeking journalist takes off on a ride. But, yeah, I remember if you go to the inside track, which if you haven't read, by the way, hello, wake up, it's full of good stuff. But I want to tell you to, uh, or take you to one of the first parts here, where I write on page 18, I state, currently half of the entire United States hates its own elected leader. However, the fact that President Trump is so immune to goop is the very reason that he's starring as the most powerful man in the world in his own movie. Now, again, I don't offer that as an endorsement of whatever his policies are because I don't know what they are. But you get my point. When you can come at life as independent of the good opinion of others as Donald Trump is, you will start to enjoy more of your potential. You will start to have fearlessness around taking on opportunities. You will start to become immune to the fear of rejection, the fear that you're not good enough, because you'll start to own a power in you that, as I said, Big D there is using to star as the most powerful man in his own movie. Now, let's just follow that metaphor for a second, because again, people familiar with my work will know that you are the star of the movie of your life. Now, how do I know that you're the star of the movie of your life? Why? Because you're the only one that's in every single scene. Now, here's the challenge. If you're the star of your movie, what does that make everybody else in your movie? Well, at best, they may be a supporting cast, maybe a spouse or a sibling or you know, a co-worker or a business partner or something like that. But 99.9% .9 of people that come in and out of your movie are going to be nothing more than film extras, which means that the second that they leave the scene that you're currently in, you don't give them a second thought. Now, let's just take that one step further. 
Because the trap here, my friends, is that even if you're empowered enough to see yourself as the star of your movie, the mistake people make is that they then think that everybody else sees them as the star of their movie. And of course, they don't. Why? Because what movie are they starring in? Pretty simple, their own. By definition, you are either at best a supporting cast with maybe a handful of people in your life, or 99.9% .9 of people in your experience, you are nothing more than a film extra in their movie. In other words, if you're still running around trying to get approval and validation and want to be liked and fit in, and you're adjusting yourself off center to be able to do that, you need to understand the truth that most people don't care enough about you to bother to give an opinion. Why? Because they're too busy being worried about what they think you're thinking of them. Because they're under the same trap. They think that everyone sees them as the star of their movie. But of course we don't. Now when you graduate to that awareness, not just intellectually, but you own it as part of who you are, then you can start to walk with a sense of power. Then if the newspapers write some bullshit, you're not gonna go to pieces. If somebody calls you a name, you can look at them as if to say, again, your opinion of me is none of my business. And you move on. Versus how most of the people, especially the snowflakes of society, go watch my take on that, yeah, go to pieces and melt because, oh, they don't like me. I became offended because somebody said something. Yes, somebody articulated a concept, said some words, and I became hurt by that. Are you freaking kidding me? Wake up! Yes, if you can get out of the good opinion of others like Donald Trump has, there's absolutely no reason why you can't star as the most powerful person in the world in your movie. And for that reason, I give Don a thumbs up. Hey, Peter here, hope you enjoyed that video. But remember, knowing and not doing is the same as not knowing. It's not about being passively entertained, it's about applying what you've learned in your life to make a difference. If you enjoyed that, please subscribe, hit the bell button to be notified, and leave me a comment below, let me know what you think. And if you really wanna make a difference, hit the share button and share this with somebody you care about, and let's see if we can make the world a little better place.